Thursday. Uh, this, my frugal friends, is happiness in a mug. I am Julie. Welcome to the Frugal Family. It is Thursday. It is time for a live stream. And um, I'm excited. We have a couple of packages to open. We will do that. And we will discuss the saga of the phone. I'm going to have to work on this lighting. Yes, I had to get a new phone. Was not planning on that. You guys know that, hi Rita, that the main thing I'm working on right now is getting the new car in July. So this was a bit of a shock. And yeah, definitely gonna have to sort out the lighting. Looks kind of funky. But it is what it is and we are here. And I'm happy about that. We are consistent with our live streams. It makes my hair look not blonde, but like lighter color. Yeah. Um, every phone is different and every phone's camera is different. And I was, hi Lisa, very used to our old phone that I was running into the ground and that I thought would never die, ever. Uh, I was used to that, hi Alex, and the way that it did stuff. But this like, it's got like weird light. Do I look yellow or is that just cause the curtains? Yeah, feels weird. Anywho. Um, oh, thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. So yes, it's a new phone. Do you guys want to know the story? All right. I talked about it a little bit on my, um, unfiltered grown up channel. I also feel like it shows less of me. Hi, Rebecca. I feel like I'm just like a talking head. Okay. Maybe not quite, but if any of you happen to have, okay, let's just throw this out there, whether on the live stream or the rebroadcast, please tell me. Um, if you happen to have and be familiar with the uh, Samsung 21 and know like tricks and tips about the camera and how to, cause like, I mean, will it even let me? No, it won't. Yeah, I don't know. I honest, I don't know. Um, hi Alfie, my darling love. I saw your comment on the, oh, thank you. Oh, I love you. Um, yes, Rita, we definitely upgraded. Hi, Jessica. Um, I had the S8 and this is the S21. So yes, <laughs> there was a little bit of change happened there. Hi, Rose. Yeah, I was running the other phone into the ground and I did kill it. And I'll tell you that story in a minute. But if you guys happen to have the S21 and you're like, totally a pro now with the camera so that we can see more of me than just because I'm wearing a really cute shirt today and I don't know how to make it. Let me try pushing something over here. What does that do? Um, like, is there a way? Hello, Manuela. Hi, Christine. Um, oh, I love you too, Rose. Thank you. Um, hi, Lori. Oh, thank you so much. And there's Angie. Hi, Angie. I have your video, your newest video saved in my um, downloads. So I will be watching that today as I'm out gardening. You get to come with me gardening. <laughs> um, but if you guys happen to know, like, let's see, what is this? Oh, no, that's filters. I don't do filters. Um, those are not for me. Um, rotating, but then it'll be like, you know, poor or not porch. Well, yeah, and I don't, I don't do that. Um, none of that. That's normal. Okay. Will that go away? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, thank you, Manuela. It's from the bins because of course it is. Hello, Renee. Okay. And now I can't get it to get off of these like filter things, but you guys probably can't even see that. Can you? Um, yeah, weird. Oh, it would like turn me into a sketch. And then there's like haunt. Oh, you know, we're using that sometime. Oh my gosh. There's all these like spooky filters. I don't do like beauty filters or any of that stuff. No offense or, or whatever to anyone who does. If you use those, that's awesome. Good for you. But for me, I don't, I, I never want 
anyone to say, oh my God, look at her without her filter or without her makeup. I rarely wear makeup anyway. I am wearing it today. Um, but I don't ever want, ever want anyone to say, oh, she's so fake or she's so this. I know, Elfie, you love a filter and you have a lot of fun with it, my darling. Oh, thank you, Angie. But I just, as a YouTuber, I don't ever want someone to be like, oh God, did you see her real face? Ah! You know, this is the real face. Yeah. Hi, Vivian. I'm so glad you're here. So, um, so I don't use like beauty filters, but I do want to try out some of these ones, these haunt ones. Yeah. It's like all like making you look like a ghost and spooky and stuff. That I would do. Ooh, there's one with bubbles. How do you get this off the screen? I'm sure you guys can't see it, but like it won't, it won't. Oh, maybe if I push that. Oh, oh, I did it. I did it. Thank you, Rose. Um, huh. But no, I don't know how to. I mean, besides moving it further back, that even doesn't really do much. That's a little better, but then I have to like come all the way over here. <laughs> to see your comments. Um, let me try a little. Well, I guess that's what we're gonna do. Luckily I have my contacts in and I can see your comments from here. And I can reach over here. Um, hello, Deborah. hugs to you, my dear. Oh, Renee, you've seen the bubbles one before? Yeah, so if, okay, so, so, if any of you do happen to have the Samsung S21, I know there's a few different ones. I don't remember which one this is. I don't. Uh, but it is the S21. And if you know stuff about, hi, Tommy, thanks for being here. If you know stuff about the S21, specifically the camera and using it on a live stream and how to change the, what's it called? Lens, please. Is it something I need to like set up before or can I do that during? Happy birthday, Renee, everybody. Happy 40th birthday to Renee, our darling longtime viewer, friend, and Patreon supporter. And an all around great girl. Welcome to the 40 Club. Glad to have you. <laughs> um, let's see. And there's Miss Jean. Hi, Jean. Thank you so much. Um, so. I do like the, the crystal clear quality of the picture. Okay, so anyway, so the um, the story. Now we do have a couple packages to open, but we will get to that, I promise. Okay, oh my gosh, here we go. You guys know I had had that other phone forever. Like, okay, in case you missed it. The phone that I've been using forever and ever was the S8. This is the S21. So that shows you I have been practicing what I preach and was running that thing into the ground. And it was the active version, which they don't make anymore, of course. So durable. It had been through everything with us and I loved it dearly. I was committed to that phone. We had built a strong relationship. Well, it died because I clicked on a bad Amazon link and then couldn't turn it back on. And then it went to like this reboot screen, but you couldn't use the keys. It was just dead, okay? And um, on old phones, back in the day, you used to be able to take the back of your phone off and pop out the battery, pop it back in, and it you know, would at least restart, you know? You can't do that with these new modern phones. Don't try unless you like know what you're doing. Everything in there is glued together. And according to the guy at the phone store, you have to like he slowly heat it up to dissolve the stuff. And the anyway, so serious, hi, Phyllis, serious disaster. Um, and I ended up using, um, oh my God, I used like a flathead screwdriver trying to pop the battery out. And of course the phone was on at the time because I couldn't turn it off. Um, <laughs> and I almost had the battery out and then there was a spark and then this burning smell, but still the phone didn't turn off. And I was like, okay, that's it. We're done. We're done. This phone is done. I have officially killed my phone. Hi, Sandra. So I was devastated. You guys know we're saving up for the new car. Oh, thank you, Angie. Yeah, it's getting quite long. <laughs> like, look, it's, it is, it's quite long now. Um, and so, yeah, Rebecca, RIP to the Samsung 8. I do miss it. So I killed it. And yeah, had to go and get a new one because unfortunately that's where we're at in life. You you need to, have, and especially as a YouTuber, you got to have a phone. You, yeah. Um, 
but I was brokenhearted. I, um, hi, Jamie. Hello, love yourself, please. Oh, stop it. Stop it. But thanks. <laughs> um, so I was devastated. I felt like a failure. You know, I'm always talking about taking care of what you already have and so that you don't have to be part of the, you know, consumerism and wastefulness and all that stuff, right? And I killed that phone. It broke my heart. And then, of course, you guys know, I've committed to getting the new car. Well, we got the phone. Hi, Joseph. Oh, it's so good to see you. Um, so it, it just felt like just, just a huge personal failure and like a setback and stuff like that. And then also the fact that I'm not good at adjusting to new things. I don't, I don't handle change very well. And when you get a new phone, I'm sure you guys know this, there's all new different little buttons and doohickeys and things that it does. And I'm having to learn all of those. And it just leaves me feeling not so confident. Anyway, that is the saga of the phone. Oh no, there's more, there's more, I forgot. Oh my God, okay. The most tragic part. And this is so silly. It was a phone. It's just a phone, okay? I know it's just a phone. But, um, ugh. yeah, we might end up having like a little funeral service for it. It's a thing, okay? I've been through some emotional stuff. And that phone has been with me through some seriously emotional stuff. So, but um, because I couldn't get the battery out, and none of the buttons worked, I couldn't turn the phone off. And it had like a, a reboot screen on, but that was no good, like it did you no good, okay? Um, and so the poor phone had to just sit there and die. <laughs> like we had to just wait till the, the battery ran out. Yeah. It just, it's so silly, you guys. Oh my gosh. I. And I'm apparently more of a sentimental person than I thought I was. Yeah. Um, Jamie, this is the Galaxy S21. Yep. And the one that died was the Galaxy S8 Active. And they don't make the active kind anymore. Hello, Crystal, diving with R5. I'm so glad you're here. I love you too. Um, so yeah, I had really run that one into the ground and I planned on using it forever and ever and ever. That was the plan. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're Android people here. Hi, Dale. We, we do the, the Android thing. Um, anyway, that's the saga of the dead phone. This is the new phone, and it's going to take me a little while to get used to it. Like I said, I need to figure the lighting out. It's different. Um, yeah. It's different. Did you know this phone, I need to do a review of it because some of this stuff is so stupid. So for one, they don't do the active anymore, which like makes the phone like nearly indestructible. No, they don't do that anymore. And this one, oh, thank you, Crystal. There's no uh, earphone jack. What kind of BS is that? Look, I didn't swear. Hey. Um, there's no phone jack, or not phone jack, no. For your earbuds, old school earbuds that you don't need to charge that just plug in and you pop in and woohoo it doesn't have that you have to get like an adapter out of pocket aside from it in order to put a regular like 3.5 jack in there yeah it's bluetooth you're right rita they they do that to try and force you into getting their bluetooth little earbud pod things ridiculous and then those, of course, have to be charged. And then when they die and you don't have access to charging, like, it is so stupid. You're paying $1,000, $1,000. And it doesn't even come with the little ear thingies that they're gonna. And I didn't realize that until after, of course, I'd gotten home and got it all set up and then wanted to listen to something while I was falling asleep. And I couldn't. So I had to go and order some more of the earbud things because I've given away my other ones, the ones I found in the bins. And um, because I didn't care for those, I don't like having to charge them. That just is aggravating. And now I have no choice. 
And there's love yourself, please. Oh, you didn't need, you don't need to do that. You don't, I know I make it sound like that by talking about it, but I'm only talking about it just to tell you the situation. I, and now I, I feel like I sound like a mooch. Um, but thank you so much. Love yourself, please, toward the new car fund. That is incredibly generous. Not necessary, but incredibly generous of you. And I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are a darling and a love and a wonder. Um, but anyhow, so I, I was like, I'm not buying there because I looked them up. They're ridiculous and they have to be charged and they die just like all the other ones. So I grabbed some off of Amazon for like 15 bucks and they had great reviews too. Really great reviews. So those will get here on Saturday. So I do want to do a review of this phone because I'm so far. Oh, Mad Cat Crafter. Thank you. my Ah, no, Mama wore makeup today. We are not balling today. We're not but I'm really glad to see you in the comments and thank you. Thank you, love yourself, I appreciate that. Anyway, um, the other thing about this phone, if, if you have it, you know what I'm talking about and maybe tell me, did mine come with the wrong thing? Because the charging cord has two wrong ends. Like, there's not, <laughs> like explain this to me. They're both, both ends of the little charging cord, I'm assuming, um, are both the, the one that, that goes into the phone. There's no USB side. What the hell are you supposed to do with that? How does that? What are you supposed to do there? <laughs> and there's Petite Fireball. Hello, my darling. I've got your newest video downloaded to keep me company while I garden today also. Yes. I've been downloading videos to keep me company out in the yard. Yeah. <laughs> I like having a video playing while I'm gardening. It's a thing. Um, but anyway, what's the deal with that that charging cord thing? It doesn't make any sense. How? I don't know. Where do they expect you to plug it in? Like, because you'd have to have yet another adapter thingy to plug one end of it into to plug it into a USB. What is that? A thousand dollars. $1,000 for a phone and, hi Brian, oh you, $1,000 for a phone, hi Amy, and um, and it doesn't have an earphone jack and doesn't come with the earbud things that they make you do and the cord doesn't, so, well, Renee, I luckily still have the old cord too um, that, that does fit in here and so that's what I'm using. Um, it also, my GoPro cords fit this as well, but it's like, why? Someone, some techie person, because I'm not tech savvy. I, I know nothing about nothing in those areas. Um, hello, Belinda from the Philippines. Welcome. Um, but please explain to me, like, I know I'm way behind on the modern stuff. Like I said, I had the S8. This is the S21. I understand I'm way behind not up to date on th this stuff. So if there's a good reason for it, please tell me. And if there's a good reason for switching from dollar store little earbuds on a cord that never run out of battery, uh, switching from those to things that fall out and get lost all the time and have to be charged, um, please tell me. Hi, Jean. Oh, thank you so much. Um, please tell me, is there a good reason for that? Or is it just like, we're in a, this place in life where we all just want to look cool or be cool and have thrown practicality out the window. Is that what's happening? Because I think that's what hap what's happening. And we're being forced into that nonsense. I think that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. And I don't like it. I don't like it. Anyway, so that's the saga of the phone. <laughs> all of that for the saga of the phone. But a lot more of you are here now. So... Number one, welcome, glad you're here. Hi, Anita. If you know how to use the camera on the S21, please tell me how I can, instead of having to be like 20 miles away to show more of me than just my face. Hello, Veronica. Um, how uh, do I do that? Do I have to set that up before I start the live stream? Or can I do that in video? I just don't know. Hi, Julie Ann. I am wonderful. How are you? Thank you for being here. Anyway, and there's Jen LFC with four pounds 99. She said, hi, Julie. 
You are so beautiful and amazeballs. <laughs> Love you. Yeah, I'm not allowed to say stuff like that. My kids have informed me. I'm not cool enough. And anytime I, hi, Margaret. Anytime I catch on to like a new word, you know, slang or phrase or whatever, urban colloquialisms. Thank you, Veronica. Appreciate it. Um, my kids are like, no, mom. <laughs> no, don't. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. All right. Sandra says, drag your fingers over the screen and crimp it or dabble tap on the screen. Okay. Or you mean like double tap? Okay. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Hi, Phyllis. Hi, Renee. Do it anyways. Oh, I know. I know. Right? Right? Okay. So let's go like this. Nope. That didn't do anything. Okay. Drag. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, God. How do I put it back? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, and I was doing so good keeping my mouth clean. Well, you guys got up close and personal with mama just now. Sorry about that. Okay, well, Sandra, um, <laughs> happy to provide some laughs. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Renee. Jesus. Okay, so, so, okay, going this way, that worked. <laughs> oh, thank you, Julian. Yeah, I actually did my hair. Um, you, you just got here. Maybe you didn't see, um, my hair has gotten really long. Look how long it is. Yeah, it's like all the way past my ooh la las. Um, <laughs> thanks, Brian. <laughs> Thank you, Rhonda. Braces. Braces. <laughs> um, okay. So if I go the other, nope, it doesn't do it. The oh, Hi, Big B. Big B, I need you to get in touch. Um, I don't know if you ever saw my message when I had messaged you back about uh, being a guest on your show. I'm in a place now where I can do that. So let's be in touch. I think it that made it worse. What do I do? Um, no, nope, it only, like I'm doing that and the only thing it does, woo, it's just getting closer and closer. Jeez. <sighs> I don't know, I don't dare mess with it anymore. You know, I'm just gonna have to, um, I don't know. I don't know, I'm gonna have to play with it because the only thing I can get it to do, as you've seen, is to zoom right in there. I can't get it to, uh, yeah. Maybe this is as far as it goes, but I doubt it. If you guys know, if you have suggestions, Please tell me, but I am gonna work on figuring it out. Okay, let's um, look at the mail. We have two packages. So let's go ahead and look and see what we got. This is from Larita, my darling Larita. There's a card, it says Julie, and it does say that I can read it on the video. Um, I mention this every time, but it's good to keep mentioning it. If you do send us a card or a letter, please indicate on the outside of it uh, if, if it's something, um, <coughs> that we can read aloud. Okay. Um, because otherwise I just have to use my best judgment. Okay. Um, Sandra says, I just checked when I crimp it with my fingers, I can crimp it to 0.5, like squeeze the screen. Okay. I'm going to try it one more time. So, but are you going like, or <laughs> like crimp it in like this? We're gonna try it one more time and I, I don't know. I don't know. No, see, it just, ooh la la. I don't know. I'll mess with it. I'll do some research. I'll watch some tutorials and um, yeah, Amy, and, and I did, I keep moving the, the tripod, hi Diane, the tripod back, but the problem is that then I have to come all the way over here, like it's like three feet away, um, to be able to um, get to the comments and to continue scrolling the comments. Now, if I had like a table right here and laptop, I could be checking the comments there and recording, but then of course I'd be looking over here. I don't know, but for now, let's go ahead and do this. Yes, okay, so this was especially made for me by Larita and it's gorgeous. 
May you always be brave enough to fly. Look at that. Oh, no. And it even has little gems. Stop it. <sighs> Love, Larita. Oh, that's gorgeous. Thank you, Larita. Um, and inside... Oh, no. What? <gasps> oh, it's Alice in Wonder... Okay, sorry. You're like, let us see, too, please. It's Alice in Wonderland. <gasps> oh, um, Big B, it is the uh, Samsung S21. Samsung S21. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Oh! <laughs> and then... <laughs> Look at that. This one is a hip, hip, hooray, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Oh, no. Oh, Reagan is going to go insane, Larita. Oh, my gosh. Reagan is going to go nuts. These are dragons, if you can't tell. And Reagan, my boy, he loves dragons. I mean, is there, there's, it's more than love. It's something beyond love. He was just, um, I've got one right here I'm going to show you. Uh, he made this one for me. We were playing I play with my kids, okay? We, I'm, I'm like a 10-year-old in a 40-year-old body. But we were playing dragons, and we decided that this one is a phoenix. This is one he made for me. And when it's coming... <laughs> I tell my kids, I'm like, you want me to play with you, but just be warned. You got to think about what you're asking, because it's me, and you never know how that game's going to go down. But we decided, I decided this is a phoenix and it like comes flying up out of the flames and the smoke and the ash. It goes, and then. Yes, complete with sound effects. Anyway, Reagan loves dragons. Ooh, it even has like a background thing. Look at that. Hi, Sarah. Yeah. A touchscreen pen. I can look into that. In fact, I think we have one, but even so, they're like this long. So it'd still be like, you know, knuckles all the time. I don't know. I don't know. And then this is um, Rails to Trails magazine. Oh, this is awesome. So, okay. Um, yeah, Big B, exactly. A new beginning. Yes. Yes. Um, okay. Oh, you have the A21, not the S21. Yeah, I knew there was a couple different ones. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure. Hi, Lightning. Thank you so much, you sweetheart. Um, I'm not 100% sure which one this is other than that it's the 21. Which of the 21s? I don't know. Lightning, did you do your driving test stuff? How'd it go? Let me know. Are you out there speeding around? I want to know. <laughs> Thank you, Cynthia. Um, look at this. So I don't know if I told you guys, but um, James, my husband, he took up running, which is bizarre. I tell you, as you get more seasoned in life, things change. And you get into things you never would have thought you would have been into. He hated running all the time I've known him, unless he was playing basketball or soccer. Um, that's the only time that he would run. Now he's running on purpose. Yeah. And some of you know that my body is completely falling apart. It's a disaster. But I used to be a long distance runner. Part of how my body started falling apart <laughs> because I was not always the smartest runner. Um, so this won't be for me. I don't think I'll ever run again other than like in emergency situations. But I'm going to use this for James. I think I'm going to make something for him. His birthday's in July. I think I'm going to make something. I don't know what. Or I, you know, I could do it for my sister. Or a couple of my brothers, because they're all marathoners. I'm going to make something with this. I don't know what. It'd be really fun to do like a frame, like a shadow box. Too many thoughts. Okay. Um, and then, and then this one has like gifts. Gifts and whatnot. And there's Bigby. Stop it. He, with a uh, $3 Australian, right? Um, right? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, I've never seen Australian dollars before on him. This is so cool. Big B, you've just made my day. I mean, these are amazing and everything, but the, you made my day because they're Australian dollars. What? What? <laughs> I'm so excited. It's 
the little things, guys. Um, and he says, show our amazing hostess some support and love. Oh, thank you, my darling. Oh, I appreciate that. Oh, you're so sweet. Australian dollars. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you, Margaret. Yeah. Um, I was in a sad place for a few days and then the phone thing happened and um, whatever. And well, some of you heard that the coffee machine died. And <laughs> that was tragic. Um, the coffee machine died and then I killed my phone. And so I was in kind of a wah wah place. And when you're in a wah wah place, a really great thing you can do is one, take a shower. Um, showers are good. <laughs> And, and put your face on and, and do your hair and put on a clean shirt and stuff like that. It makes a world of difference. Yes, it does. And that's what I needed. Julie N, watching and doing a thumbs up. That's what I'm talking about. That is the support that I ask for. Those that are, you know, uh, so inclined and able to, you know, do the, the financial support. I am just beyond flattered and grateful. But that is not at all what I ask for. If you can just do a thumbs up, that means the world to me. And just being here, geez, giving me, giving us time out of your day. I mean, there's not many better compliments than that. Mm -hmm. My grandma has always said, the greatest gift you can give someone is your time. And I absolutely 100% agree with that. So thank you. Now I'm going to get all wham wham again. Anyway. <sighs> It's just been a funky couple of days, but these are amazing. Lorita, you just, the things you come up with, I just don't even know. I just don't even know. It's amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Look at this. It's Alice. Did you guys know that I love Alice in Wonderland? Lorita obviously knows. Um, many of you know I'm a Disney person and um, I get asked, what's my favorite uh, ride at Disneyland? And it's not one that anyone else will tell you is their favorite ride. But for me, it's um, Alice's like Adventures in Wonderland or whatever it's called. Not the teacups. I like the teacups, but it's the other one where you ride in a caterpillar. I love that ride. It's very psychedelic and kind of out there, but it's also colorful and it's musical and all of those things. That's my favorite, followed by Splash Mountain. Yeah. And my... Uh, my garden, my big garden, my memorial garden out in back is my Wonderland garden. So incidentally, my little garden in the enclosed patio is my laughing place garden, Splash Mountain. Anyway, happy unbirthday. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. Um, let's see. And Lightnings is Radiator Springs Racers. Love it. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Hi, Stavies. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Angie, it is the little things. You better believe it. Um, yeah, getting showered and fixed up. What a difference. <sighs> oh, love yourself, please, says they provide a C cable. Is that what I got that has the, like, two boy ends and no girl end? Can I even say that anymore? Can I say that? You know what I mean, okay? It has two of the exact same thing. Um, and you can order a charger if you want one. They're trying to eliminate waste. Well, I'm 100% behind that. I will absolutely support that. Um, but I wish I would have known that that was the case. You know? Um, the paleta. Is that a popsicle? The uh, Mickey ice cream, Brian? I have not been practicing my Spanish for a long time, you guys. And I'm losing it. If you know like another language or you play an instrument or whatever, if you aren't using that on a regular basis, you will lose it. You will absolutely, I'm saying this to me because I'm the one I actually see in the screen even more than I'm saying it to you guys. And I need to practice, but I was right. Hot damn. Thank you, Brian. Yes, I still at least know that word. Of course I do, it's ice cream. Of course I know that. <laughs> I love me a Mickey shaped ice cream too. Do you like better, Brian, the one that's an ice cream sandwich or the one on a stick? I like both, but I do tend to go with the one on the stick. I don't know. It's a thing. You know. Hmm. Um. Oh, Diane, you're doing some gardening? <gasps> what are you doing? You're going to till. Are you like setting up your like your vegetable patch or what? That's exciting. Ooh. 
I, I am going to be out in the garden today. Uh, I have so many projects to catch up on. Oh, my Lord in heaven. And there's Angel in pink camo. Welcome. Um, let's see. Angie, so you got the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Yeah, you have to get all this stuff to go with it. It's the same. Anyone who goes the GoPro route, which I highly recommend, they're fantastic, but every little feature that you want is a whole nother thing you have to buy. And I know they do that on purpose. I know it. <sighs> which, it's fine. <laughs> but, hmm, just, just know that you can be investing. Investing. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Margaret, you just made my day. Oh, my love, you made my day. <laughs> if you guys don't see this comment, she says, this is Margaret, she says, Julie, my darling, I have to go. My man wants out of the shops. <laughs> Please do not let your man get upset on my account. Don't stay in the shops to stay with us. <laughs> I am not going to be causing relationship problems. Oh, my darling, but that was really cute. Anyway, thank you for being here and tell your man I said thank you. Um, let's see. Well, hello, Simon. I am wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, having a beautiful, fabulous day. Okay, now let's see. Stabies has daffodils and raspberries and roses in front of her house. I am moving some roses tonight. Whew, one is ginormous. I got it all trimmed down. And if I wait any longer, it's going to be too late. Yeah. So I've got a huge rose and then a couple of small ones, kind of volunteer ones that came up way out in the wonderland that need to be moved. And I've got like a, it's not a snowball bush. It's like a fireworks white bush thing. I can't remember what it's called, but anyway, I need to get all of those dug up. Um, oh, thank you, Rita. It's it's a work in progress. Um, I need to get all of those dug up and moved. Yeah, not excited. Probably won't be able to stand up tomorrow, but it's getting done. Mm -hmm. And please don't ask, why doesn't James do it? He won't even be home. Like this week, he's covering for a guy whose wife just had surgery. So he doesn't even get home till bedtime. Yeah, I'm not going to be asking him to be out there digging stuff up for me. Plus, you know, mama's trying to get healthy. And all of this digging and pickaxing, <laughs> literally pickaxing, I should record it. You should see me out there with the freaking pickaxe. Oh, bye, lightning, my love. Have a beautiful day. Um, I think I'm going to record it because it is hilarious. I'm out there. I'm like, hi-ho, hi-ho. <laughs> Seriously, I feel like one of the little dwarfs because the, the pickaxe is almost as tall as I am. Um, <laughs> But we have like really rocky soil. And so you have to get out there with a freaking pickaxe to, yeah. Yeah, especially if it's something you didn't plant and it was just like a volunteer that came up. It's growing through the rocks. So you got to get in there and <laughs> don't overdo it. Yeah, we'll see, Crystal. You know. <laughs> okay, we got to open this other package. Oh, there was more. Oh my God, there's more. Sorry. Ah, there was more. Larita's probably been watching this and being like, Julie, you missed like half the package. Oops, sorry. Sorry. Um, Sandra, thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate you. Um, there are some stickers and they are holidays and seasons or are they punch outs? They're punch outs. All different kinds of punch outs. Raindrops gardening. <laughs> I'm in a good mood, guys. Easter, 4th of July, or summer. Oh, Crystal, stop. I'll be fine. And Halloween. Ah! And fall. I love fall. Because it has Halloween. Oh, look at those. Stop it. Crystal, let's see if it has clowns. <laughs> oh, you got lucky. It goes straight to winter. Then... Oh, there's more. Oh my goodness. I, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to scoot up a little bit. We still got to do the other package, but we're busting through this. Okay. So this is uh, Connie Fong Art and Design. What is it? Are they Tracy things? 
What do you do with them, Larita? They're little cellos. So they're like a plastic thing. Um, I think maybe they're stickers that you're meant to color. Oh no. <sighs> um, who was that? Let's see. Good night, Jean. Have a wonderful, a wonderful night and pleasant dreams. Look at that. Oh. <sighs> Larita knows us. Look, oh, it's, it's, it's my friend. <laughs> yes, Julie N, absolutely. I tend to just put the stickers like in the sticker bin in the craft center, but then I rarely get to use them because <laughs> my kids love to craft and, and that's what it's there for is for them to use. Um, but some of these, please don't say, oh, Julie, you're so selfish. Those are for your kids. No, no, no. Some of these I'm putting away for me. Yeah. I mean, they were... The card says happy birthday to Julie. So um, I'm going to put some away for me. Whole bunch of super fun uh, stickers. Yeah, some of these are for me. Fall. I do let the kids have and use most everything that you guys send to us. Unless it's, you know, breakable stuff, you know, whatever. Or stuff that really is specifically for me. Um, <clears throat> but like the crafting stuff and the, you know stickers and things like that they have almost free reign over all of that but some of this this is i'm keeping it for me yeah and i'm not going to feel bad especially look at this it's a rainbow come on thank you thank you julie m thank you thank you crystal see you guys know you know um this is a designer matte pad and it comes with pre-cuts of some gorgeous, oh my gosh, gorgeous papers. Oh, thank you, love yourself. Oh my gosh. You make it easy to love you, Miss Love Yourself. <laughs> and then look at these, these are awesome. They're like, okay, vacation, home, road trip, travel. Are we there yet? Oh my Lord, are we there yet? Are we almost there? How long till we get there? How many minutes, how many miles? <laughs> but I do love road tripping. And this one says resort. P.S. Our plan to go to um, um, Glacier National Park when school gets out, that has been changed because I don't, I didn't realize it's still going to be super cold up there. It's in Montana. <laughs> and we want to camp because we love camping. We are not camping at the end of May in Montana. It'll be like 30 degrees at night and the bears are all just waking up. So hell to the no. No, we changed our plans. We're still going to go, but probably not till July. Oh, Angie, I have to clean out my fridge today, too. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Thank you, Rose. Um, <clears throat> Crystal's going to Maine. Ooh, you got to go see all the Stephen King stuff. Do it. Do it. Anyway. Um, <laughs> um, so instead, we are going to Escalante. It's a park here in Utah down south. Sometimes you just got to change plans when you realize you're just totally wrong. And then look at this gorgeous postcard she made me. Happy birthday and may your spring be filled with flowers. It is. And if you are subscribed to our family vlog channel, Frugal Family Flies Again, then you'll get to come along for all of my gardening adventures. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh. Handmade by Larita. She's so freaking crafty. Oh my goodness. And there's still more from Larita in this adorableness. Look at that. Don't you love flamingos? I love flamingos. <laughs> well, tell Gil, Crystal, that you want to go see all the Stephen King stuff. Please, please do it. I was supposed to go last fall. Mm. Oh, thank you, Stabies. Um, okay. <laughs> this is a whole kit. Oh, my goodness. A fall kit. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> see, Lorena's been with us for, like, ever. Like ever. Her and Carol and Kim, they've been with us almost since day one. Mm -hmm. So she knows us like inside and out, the good, the bad, and everything else in between. Um, Lorita, you're amazing. Thank you. Now I totally feel like crafting and I don't know. <laughs> um, I was actually thinking of getting started on, you should do it, Angel. Well, when you're able. You totally should. Uh, Nikki, where the hell have you been? Sorry. Mm. 
Where have you been? I have missed you. I have missed you. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> hey, if you're friends with me, you kind of got to get used to the way I show love. And Lisa is in Connecticut. I Did I tell you? Lisa, you know that I used to live in Connecticut, right? I lived in Monroe. I'm sure most of you know that by now. Um, well, if you've been with us for a while, I was a nanny in Connecticut. I flew out of JFK to come home two weeks after 9-11. Still smoking the sky. That's my story. Um, okay, now this box, this huge box is from Viva Morton. And um, wow, I peeked just a little because it's a huge box. And I was like, but it doesn't weigh very much. Is this going to be one of those fun gifts like I used to do where... There's like a ginormous box and inside is like a little gift card or something. Cause I do that. <laughs> um, anyway, um, there's Lori who says, un dia a la vez. See, I'm, I'm going to work on practicing my Spanish again, guys. Um, one day at a time in English and Spanish. I'm going to check that out. Absolutely. Um, P.S. My happiest, um, my favorite song in Spanish is um, by Los Bukis. Oh, no, I better not start talking about that. If you're not aware of or familiar with Los Bukis, they're amazing. And there's a song um, about Christmas. If you know, you know. Navidad sin ti. Oh, God. Okay. Anyway, beautiful song. Love it. Highly recommend it especially if there's anyone you're missing during the holiday time when that time comes around again. If you want to just sit and cry. <laughs> anyway, um, Lisa, it was a beautiful, wonderful place, but I don't think I could live out there. I just don't think I could. <laughs> Not long term. I couldn't afford to, for one thing. Good Lord. Um, and the winters there, they are different. They are different. That cold gets into your bones. It gets into your soul. That's some shiz. But I did love it. And you cannot beat the fall there going up uh, I-95. Jeez, as long as you don't hit any deer or squirrels. Hey, those squirrels, they're trying to murder you. I don't know if you guys know. But if you live out east, back east, whatever, New England, watch out for the squirrels. They are murderers. On purpose. Seriously. Um, Jennifer, have a beautiful day. Have a gorgeous day. I'm so glad you were able to be with us. Take it easy. Be well. Um, yeah, Brian, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on practicando mi español. I'm going to work. <laughs> no, that's terrible. Terrible. <clears throat> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on it. Okay? Okay. All right. So this is from Viva Morton. Let's see. Oh, Angel in pink camo. This is my energy. Right here. <laughs> Speaking of which, what a great idea. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. No, Brian. Okay. All right. Viva, we're getting to that in two seconds. I have to tell you. The squirrels. Oh, thank you for the happy late Mother's Day, Nikki. Oh, you sweetheart. Um, okay. The squirrels. They're like kamikazes. Okay. What's a kamikaze? It was Japanese fighter planes that would purposely crash. Okay, like suicide bombers, okay? The squirrels, they are monsters. They are monsters. Um, Julianne, it was. I'll talk more about that on probably our grown-up channel. I should talk about that sometime, my nanny experience. I have a lot of stories from that. Keep in mind, I was like 19, so I was a different person and there's things I'm ashamed of and things I'm proud of. We should talk about that. And I was very sick at the time. I was in the throes, the very deep depths. Um, hi, Tammy. The very depths of an eating disorder. But we should talk about that on my grown up channel. Um, excuse me. Anyway, so the squirrels. You'll be driving along on roads that are this wide because they're all hacked out of the woods back in colonial times. The roads, guys, they're like this. Especially if you've lived in the West, especially in Utah where the roads are like a million feet wide, you go to Connecticut and you're like, doo, 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 doo. and the squirrels, they will run out and you'll slam on your brakes or you'll swerve. And then guess what they do? 
they turn around and they run back the other way. They don't even finish crossing the road. No, 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 no. They run out. They make you slam on your brakes or hit into a tree or swerve all these different ways, especially if there's ice on the road. Good Lord, you're dead. Then they turn around. They say, ha, ha, ha. I know it. I saw them. Don't argue with me. They laugh and they run back the way they came. They are only out there to kill you and collect nuts. That's it. Squirrels, New England. They know what they're doing and they're not fooling anybody. I know what you're up to, squirrels, and you didn't get me. Still alive. Take that. <laughs> there, were some, there were some incidents, okay? <laughs> Jeez. Woo! Yeah, good times, adventures. Um, Jamie, my Mother's Day, it was glorious. I woke up to a huge bouquet of flowers and they were beautiful from my James. And then um, Mariah and I went dumpster diving and then we went up to Lagoon, the amusement park. My sister met up with us and we had an amazing time. It was perfect. It was really wonderful. Yep, it was. Until the very end when something, there was an incident, a thing happened, and I'm gonna talk about that on our um, family vlog channel, Frugal Family Flies Again, when, uh, and the title will be things we refuse to record or things we will never record. Things that we see that you will never see because there are things we don't want to promote or be a part of or perpetuate, but we saw something pretty awful on our way out of the amusement park and I will be recording that video right after this and that will go up on our vlog channel. Yeah, but other than the one incident, uh, it was an amazing, beautiful day. Thank you for asking. Okay, we gotta open this because we're almost there. All right, this is from Viva Morton and oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Holy cow. Okay, I only peeked. I did not see all of this. Stop it. Okay, Viva, good Lord in heaven, did you make these? Did you make these? Oh. The things you guys do for us, I don't, uh, ah, we've had this conversation 800 times. Like for instance, this watch that I'm wearing that was a family heirloom and treasure shared with us. Wasn't that Teresa? Teresa, wasn't it you that shared this with us? I think. Please don't ever be offended if I don't remember who sent me something, you guys. You guys are so incredibly generous and I'm so ADD that I have a hard time remembering. I, I, like, was it Liz or Bonnie that sent us these earrings? I don't remember. <sighs> but I know it was some of our beautiful friends. But some of these gifts, You'll see, you'll see. Viva, thank you. Look at the edging. <laughs> oh, it sparkles, oh my God, it sparkles. Look at that. I know, Tammy, right? Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. Sorry. Dang it, my language today, you guys. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. But. It's a rainbow. I still have other videos to record. And this isn't waterproof. It's a rainbow. It's a rainbow. If you've been with us for any amount of time, you can even see. I have a rainbow right there that Mariah painted rainbows <clears throat> my entire life rainbows have been my thing even um you guys all know I've had braces right I still wear my retainers two nights a week because I paid for my braces as a teenager <laughs> my retainers are rainbows 
my whole life. Rainbows, rainbows. Because they are so hopeful and so beautiful. <sighs> One more. Oh my gosh. There's a tag on it. What does it say? This one says Reagan. Oh, I thought with how many there were that they were probably for individual. Look at that. So you did, you made these. How long did this take? My mom does crochet and knitting and all of that and tatting even. Hours and hours and hours. You, what did I say earlier? The greatest gift you can give someone is your time. How much time? Okay, now I gotta see who's is who's. <sighs> oh, well, the rainbow one is for Mimi, but her and I, we're gonna share. We're gonna cuddle up in this one together. That's what we're gonna do. Hope you don't mind, Viva. We're cuddling up in this one. And she loves rainbows too. Like I said, she's the one that painted that. <laughs> uh, see, this one is for Lulu. Oh my Lord, she's gonna love it, Viva. Oh my gosh. She's going to love that. The colors are ridiculous. Oh, I'm guessing this one. Let's see. This one is mine. Okay, now I have to do like some blue makeup. <laughs> Would that be silly? Can we do like a blanket slash makeup fashion show and like match? Olivia has been doing a lot of makeup lately and like costume makeup and, and uh, stuff like that. What if we did? I'm not promising, okay? But how cool would it be, um, how cool would it be, um, hi Michelle N, how cool would it be if we did like a fashion show? Um, yeah, right, Renee, seriously, like hardcore blue with like some fuchsia, I have some fuchsia or, or like at least I have like hot pink, maybe I have hot pink lips and, and blue and bangs and stuff and do like a fashion show um, with our blankets. What do you think, Viva? Is that silly? Hopefully you, you say yes, because we are silly. That's what we do. Hi, Dumpster Diving Mo. Thank you for being here. Oh, Michelle, thank you. Um, what if we do that? Is that nuts? <laughs> oh, thank you, Lori. That's beautiful. Thank you. Um, I think we should do that, you guys. I think that would be awesome. Oh, wait, no, this is, this one says Julie. What did this one say? Oh, Julie's hubby. I thought so. I thought so. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, I should have finished reading because I was almost certain that this would be for James and, and it is, it says Julie's hubby. I just saw Julie. Um, so that one is for James. You guys, oh my God, the, you do things for James and you like see him this much out of all of these videos and you still think of him. He is one of the most important people in my life. That means a lot. That you would think of him when you barely even get to see him. It's just really generous. So then this one is for me. And I gotta say, I like this one better than this one. So I'm so glad this one ended up being for James. <laughs> and he loves blue, so that'll be perfect. But look at this one! Stop it! Stop it! Do you know what this makes me think of? Um. Uh, oh, thank you, Crystal. Um, this makes me think of, um, what's it called? Um, oh, dang it. Ah, the, when we were kids, when I was a kid, the really color, Lisa Frank. This makes me think of Lisa Frank. <laughs> All the little colorful, like, um, pencils and little pencil bags and erasers and stickers and little notebooks and whatever. This is so, this totally says Lisa Frank to me. It totally does. And I love it. I love it. I'm so glad this is what this one is for James. <laughs> but this also does have blue. But look at this. But it also has the pink. So I can do the blue and I can do the pink. Come on. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Viva, this is ridiculous. Right, Jessica? This is nuts. The sparkly one is for Olivia, for Lulu. And she is she will freaking love it. She will go nuts. She will go nuts. Oh my gosh. Viva, 
You have outdone yourself. Diane, you're just back. Did you see all these blankets? If not, you got to rewind and see all these freaking blankets that Viva made for us. Each with a little tag with the name. If you could feel what was in my heart right now. <sighs> Crystal and I, she, she mentioned it there a little bit ago. We have been talking lately about mean comments. Because if you're going to be on YouTube, you're going to get mean comments. Right, Michelle? Each stitch done with love. Oh my gosh. <laughs> If you're going to be on here, you're going to get mean comments. And most of them I delete. I try to stay on top of my comments. I read every single comment. I'm not great at replying, but I read every single comment. And I'm a real life person with feelings. And I stay on top of it, not to censor, but to keep this a pleasant and happy place. And a positive place. And a place without abuse. But we get some nasty comments. We get some judgmental comments. We get some cruel comments. And Crystal over at Diving with R5, she gets some nasty comments too. Because that's what happens when you get on YouTube. There's always, always people that will be like that. And those can get you down. We try to have a thick skin and we try to tough it out and not let it get to us. But we are real. We're real humans. Lisa, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know why people feel the need to be like that. Julie N, I will absolutely do a slow-mo zoom-in video of these. Stay tuned. I will do that. Absolutely. Um, yeah, the comments. Angie, you know what I'm talking about. Nasty people out there. There really are. And like I said, we try to not let it get to us or to take it personally and to keep in mind that these are just nasty people. Um, but sometimes it can really get you down. They can say some really uh, hurtful personal things that it's it's hard to just let it, you know. I've taken to just laughing at people like, oh, thank you, Darlene. Um, like a passive aggressive response where I'm not going to, oh, Rose, no, 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 no. This is not aimed at you. No, this is aimed at, for instance, the woman yesterday or today that said, aren't you ashamed to be taking your children out to climb in the garbage? Or, oh my gosh, you are a horrible mother. I am so calling the CPS on you. Someone should report you. Okay, no, I'm talking about nasty comments, not you, my darling. And you and I, we're square and we're good. I have nothing but love for you and we are fine. No, 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 no. No, I'm talking about nasty comments. Not misunderstandings. No, 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 nasty stuff. Yeah, like, I would be so embarrassed to be in your family. Oh my God, what are you doing to your kids? You are traumatizing your kids. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> no, those are the kinds of things that I'm talking about. Oh, your teeth are fake and you are fake. And why are you so fake? No one is really like that. Why do you put on a show? Why can't you just be a real person? Yeah, no, we, we do. We get that. That's, that's, we do get those. Okay. <laughs> and I try to delete those as soon as I see them because we are not going to let that kind of, but I do need to start taking screenshots of them. I should do that so that we can just one day have a video full of it and we'll get really drunk. Me, not you, um, <laughs> unless you want to and have some fun with it and kind of flip the script. I've thought about doing that, but mostly I just let it all, you know, go. Thank you, Trash or Treasure. I appreciate that. Um, but anyway, but anyway, um, <laughs> When those things happen, thank you, Lisa. I know it's, no, this really is me. I am loud. I am obnoxious. I laugh loud. I smile loud, if that's a thing. And I am very dramatic and melodramatic and very um, emotive. And that's real. And in fact, I often tune it, turn it down for you guys even sometimes, because it's a lot. And sometimes people wear earbuds and it hurts their ears. <laughs> So no, no, that, that this is me. This really is me. Yep. Yep. Except I just, I swear a lot more in real life. 
and I have a really dirty in the gutter mind that I try to keep, you know, a little off of here. But other than that, no, that's me. Yeah, it's real. But anyway, the point of all that um, is to say, um, those can really get you down. And um, yeah, Lisa, no, my husband, ooh, I, I almost slapped him once. I don't believe in violence, okay? But I did almost slap him once because he tried covering my mouth. He ain't never done that again. Like, he has never done that again. Oh, Brian, stop it, you sweetheart. <laughs> um, yeah, no, he never did that again. Nuh -uh. No, you don't quiet mama. <laughs> but anyway, so many times I have almost quit the whole YouTube thing. So many times I'm like, I worked so hard to get a degree. I should just go use that degree. And then I don't have to put up with nasty comments and, you know, blah, 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 all this kind of thing. And then something like this happens. You know, thank you, Darlene. Thank you, Rita. Thank you, Brian. And this, this kind of situation is why I'm still here. And we're still here. We've had to adjust. We've had to modify as we've gone along. We've evolved and we will continue to evolve. But they're not pushing me off of YouTube. <laughs> I love you guys. <sighs> anyway, now I got to go do chores. <sighs> and do more videos. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being wonderful. Thank you for loving me as I am, for who I am. Thank you for loving my family as we are. Now please go and be kind to yourself and kind to those around you and try to spread um, some happiness today. You've already done a great job here and filled my cup. Now go and have a beautiful day and <sighs> stay tuned on Frugal Family Flies again for the video I'm gonna get ready to do here in a minute about the things we won't record that we will not be a part of. Oh, there's Shatika, you were here and there's Rhonda. Anyway, have a beautiful day. <sighs> we'll see you real soon.